Hello everybody, Carolyn here. Today I am doing a super, super exciting haul video. In front of me here, I have this giant box from Bai because I bought a lot of photo cards. So, so I'm excited to open it with you today. Before we go ahead and get started though, I will say that this video is sponsored by Bai. So thank you so much Bai for sponsoring today's video. I did a video with them a couple of weeks ago buying all of these things. I have more stuff in here than just the stuff I bought in that video, but if you want to see how I use Bai and how I got to this point, I definitely would recommend checking out that video. But yes, voiceover Carolyn's gonna tell you a little bit more about Bai and then we're gonna get into this package because I am excited. Without further ado, um, let's send it over to voiceover Carolyn. Bai is an online Japanese proxy service that helps people like you and me who don't live in Japan buy from shops that normally would not ship outside of Japan. People always ask me where I get all of my K-pop photo cards from and I get a lot of my photo cards from Bai since I can shop through my favorite shops like Makari Japan and Rakuma that always have really, really good deals on my favorite group's photo cards. Bai isn't limited to photo cards though, as you can buy from literally over a hundred different shops, so whatever you're looking for, you should be able to find it on Bai. Simply search for the item you want, place your order, and Bai will purchase it on your behalf and store it at their warehouse for free for up to 30 days. If you'd like to try out Bai for yourself, go ahead and click that link in my description box, sign up with a new account, and you'll get 10% off of your first order. Thank you so much, Bai, for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get into the haul. So yes. Let's go ahead and get into this package. I'm very, very excited. Like I said, some of this stuff has been sitting at the warehouse for a little bit. I think I had one day of free storage left when I consolidated and shipped this, so that's fun. I always like to wait until I have at least like 30 or 40 packages to ship my package just because the shipping is usually, people ask me this all the time, and shipping is gonna vary depending on the shipping method you choose how much stuff is in your package and how heavy everything is and where you live in the world. There's a lot of factors that go into shipping, but shipping for me normally costs like 25 to $35, I would say. And I normally get DHL, which is like, for me, it takes like three days, depending. Normally three days. I would say three days is probably the average for DHL for me. Just in case you're curious, but if I feel, I feel like if I have that much stuff, it like, really makes the shipping worth it, you know? So people ask me that all the time. So I figured I would go ahead and answer that, but it may be different for you. I I can't tell you what your shipping price is gonna be, but that's what my shipping price is. So I hope that at least helps a little bit. Anyways, oh my gosh. <laughs> we have so much stuff in here. I'm, oh my God. Oh my gosh, look at all of this. This is insane. Wow, okay, give me one second. Let me get all this open. So took me a little bit to get all of these open, um, but we got everything open. So let's start going through everything now. I think I'll place the envelopes off camera just to give us some space because we're about to have a lot of photo cards here. Let's see what the first card of the video is. Ooh, it's a Stray Kids photo card. Okay, big test. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this to be my first photo card. Hold on, we have a very important test to do. So I posted this on my Instagram story um, a little bit ago. I actually have previously received this Chan and Lino Lucky Draw from Five Star. This is round three. And the last time I received it, it was a fake card. Um, I didn't get it from Bai, by the way. Uh, somebody commented that on my last video, but I did not get it from Bai. I got it from another place and it was fake and it was really, really sad. And one of the ways that I knew it was fake right away is because different. Well, first of all, the other card was a matte card and this one is glossy, so it's already a really good sign. And the corners didn't match up with my fake card. But as you can see, these cards are exactly the same size. They have the, it's really hard to see on the black one, but they do have the same um, like rings marking because the other card was more cropped. So yay, <laughs> we have a real card. Oh my goodness, I was so nervous. Like, I mean, I didn't get it from Bai, so I wasn't like nervous about that for that reason. But I don't know, there's just a lot of 
fake cards going around the community right now and so i'm like being extra super careful so shout out to buy from that and i bought lino's card from the same seller so once we get to that it's in this hole somewhere once we get to that we'll double check but i'm just happy that it's not fake i think i have the fake card here somewhere i don't know where i ended up putting it i don't think i threw it away though i might have thrown it away i don't know <laughs> i was upset that i got it and yeah it's just ugh. It was such a shame. I really was so excited to finish Five Star. Um, oh, here it is. So here's the Lino card. But yeah, I was so excited to finish Five Star. And then those two, both Lino and Chan, were fake. And I was like, oh, please don't be fake. But these are both real. They both look exactly the same. They're both glossy. They're both the same size. So, oh my gosh. Shout out to this the seller on Makari Japan for finally helping me finish five star. We're a couple weeks out from the comeback, so that's exciting, but oh my gosh. <laughs> what a way to start off this video. I was really so sad when I realized they were fake and I was like, oh, man. Oh, it looks like it's an eye photo card. That's fun. This haul, by the way, is me trying to finish a bunch of holes in my collection. So we're gonna have quite a few groups in here, which is fun because yeah. So there was no like main like one group focus for this it was just like i was just trying to finish um collections before comeback so this is a call card from wave it's from version a i believe this is our version a card or there's a version a b card and then there's a c card so yeah also the seller sent some super cute stickers I love when Japanese sellers send freebies because it's like, I don't know, it's fun. Not that it's a requirement, but it's just really cute when people include freebies. Yay! All right, so this is one of Chan's photo cards from, um, from Super Bowl. This is one of his fan club cards. I don't know if I love how thin these cards are. Like all the cards I've gotten so far have been super thin. So the Japanese company changed the way they do photo cards. And as much as I appreciate them not being like super long photo cards anymore, um, I don't love how thin all of the cards are for this comeback. It's like kind of stressful. And then here we have Chaewon. Oh my gosh, Chaewon is actually on hiatus right now for being sick, which is so sad. Um, also, I thought that La Seraphim were making a comeback soon, and they still might be, but um, they were just releasing a digital single. So I was very stressed about finishing my La Seraphim collection before their comeback, but it was a digital single, so we've got time still. This is one of Chaewon's Weavers photo cards from um, Unforgiven, which is really exciting. I rarely see this card for sale. It's so, so cute though. So super, super happy to have that. Yay, so this is an impulse purchase. Not really an impulse purchase, but like I'm trying to expand my Chad and Lino like special cards. And while I was um, shopping for my shopping video, I came across these while I was trying to do an example of like how I figure out what um, idols names are in Japanese. So I came across these cards and I really, really wanted them. So yeah, <laughs> I'm expanding like the, the special cards off like merch cards. Like I'm trying to get more into Stray Kids merch, which is probably a bad idea for my wallet, but like, it's all so cute, like I really want it. So I'm super excited to have those. I do have Chan's equivalents in here somewhere. Ooh, this is fun. Look at all these different groups here. Um, I'm gonna have to zoom out fairly soon, I think, but we have Jano here from ISTJ, the last ISTJ card I needed for him. And because NCT are always releasing things, I really, really try to stay on top of my NCT members as I can. <laughs> I at least try to like be caught up. I need stuff for 2023 for Jano still, so I'm not caught up with him necessarily, but we'll get there. So fun. They sent a little like freebie card over. Oh my gosh, it's a Wanyang. Look how cute she is. And then we've got this is so fun. We've got a little, little sticker from the Wave album. 
and then a couple of little stickers and then this like holographic sticker oh my gosh that's so fun thank you so much random japanese seller i appreciate you and then the card that i got was Wan Young's card from Ives' last album. So this is her version one photo card. So it was the last Wan Young card I needed. So I'm super, super excited to have that. Ooh, this is fun. So this is one of Young Jun's older photo cards. I finished my older Young Jun collection. So everything I need from him now is from the current era which is really fun. I've been wanting to do this for a while and I just went ahead and did it. And they even sent it in the little um, case that it comes with in the album. But yes, this is one of Yeon Jun's cards from, oh my gosh, Dream Chapter Star, right? I'm super happy to have this card back. I've had it in my collection before, so I'm <laughs> just super happy to have it again and to, um, let me zoom out and to be able to add it back to my collection and to be done with Yeonjun again. Um, it's funny, if you don't know my story with like collecting TXT, I've been collecting TXT and Yeonjun specifically since debut. I stopped collecting them around Blue Hour for Blue Hour era only, which I love Blue Hour era as an era and an album. So it was nothing against the music. I just was like kind of stressed that they always had such large photo cards and then Hive literally was like, oh, we're gonna take away the large photo cards. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, I'll collect Yeonjun again because I don't really stress out about collecting him ever. I was trying to downsize some collections too and I cut Yeonjun and then I was like, I really regret doing that. So I picked him back up and it's been fun ever since. Oh my gosh, so many cards in this. So ooh, looks like we have two Lino cards here. These are both his member version cards so it's like the equivalent to that chan and then there's another chan in here somewhere where he's holding the same drink so we've got these two membership cards oh my gosh they're so cute and so thin they feel so delicate i'm trying to be super careful with them but like i freaking love these we've got the ice cream concept so it's the equivalent for that and then the fun drink concept i like that so much oh my gosh i'm so excited that i finished Super Bowl, Japan. Ooh, so here are Chan's equivalent of those Lino cards from earlier. I think these are from the Five Star Japan Dome Tour. I'm pretty sure that's where these came from, um, but I will verify that before I post this video and let you know if that's incorrect, but I'm pretty sure that's what these come from. There's so much merch. I bought a ton of Stray Kids merch for their, um, their newest merch drop. I normally never pre-order Stray Kids merch, but this time I was like, I'm gonna do it for Unveil 13. I was like, I'm gonna do it. And I bought way too much, but I bought a lot of like light stick accessories and stuff too, so that I will have stuff for tour next year. Cause I'm always super jealous of stays who have like Stray Kids merch and like pickets and stuff. So I bought a ton of like stuff for tour next year. So I'm really excited. I. I really want to see Stray Kids live again, and I'm going to be super prepared next time. So anyways, these are the two Chen photo card equivalents. I also got my new binder um, for these things, so I'm excited. I'm going to see if I can set it up before sorting photo card Sunday this weekend, but if not, it'll be in the next video. Maybe I'll do a separate video on my second channel about it. If you don't know, I started a second channel. I've only posted on it once so far because I have three exams this week, so I've been a little busy, but I'm gonna be posting a bunch of fun content on that channel as well. So definitely check that out and subscribe over there. This next one, the seller sent in a five-star album, which is so relatable. I feel like anyone who's traded or bought anything from me in the past, like, when did Vibe Star come out? In the past few months, um, has gotten it in an ordinary <laughs> album page because I got so many extra ordinary albums but I like that though because I I want to reuse like I want to try to use my extra albums you know and if I can use them to package photo cards safely oh my gosh these social path cards so thin every single one of them but anyways this is um I think these are his B version photo cards, but these are both of Chan's B version cards. And then the the sticker back one. So interesting. I can't decide if I like the new sticker or the new photo cards. 
I mean, I don't. They're like really thin and I don't know. I mean, I know that everybody found it really annoying to store the old photo cards, so I'm happy that they're like a normal size, but like, I just want them to be like a tad thicker next time, you know? This next one is the last Ray card I was missing. So I completed Ives' album, which is very exciting. I am so excited that I have this done and that I can start working. Actually, I think there's a couple of like special version cards that haven't made it to the warehouse yet. I still have stuff pending at the warehouse that haven't been delivered yet, so it might not be in this package. There was a, a CD indentation on this photo card, but that's honestly fine. Once it's in a sleeve and in my binder, you're not gonna know. And you can't really tell from the front, you can kind of tell. You can't really tell on camera, but it's like right here, there's like a little bit of a ring, but if you're looking at the photo card straight on, you can't tell, so. It's good for me. I I am not that picky, really, when it comes to damages. Like most of the time, I'm fine with damages, unless it's like something crazy, but most of the time it's not anything crazy. So yeah, when I was in Korea, I really had to get into the mind frame of like, everybody at Monstex's stand con was like, well, not everybody, but a lot of people were like Korean and Japanese, um, like photo card collectors who were trading photo cards. And so it was also raining. So I was very stressed about like water damage to my cards and everything. Trading cards with someone else and then being like, it's water damage, you know? So I was trying to be super careful. It was really hard though, but I brought a lot of photo card sleeves with me. Like I brought a whole pack of um, the Mandu Deco sleeves with me. I know, cause I always like use hollow sleeves in my trades and I was like, I kind of want to bring my hollow sleeves so that I can, uh, trade with Korean and Japanese Mombe Bay with my hollow sleeves. But anyways, they protected my uh, photo cards a lot. So I was really grateful for that. And then also I bought the photo card binder at FanCon. So that helped a lot too, just to like have an actual mini binder with me to carry everything. And I had a mini binder with my uh, fan club card in it that I brought with me because I keep my fan club cards in a mini binder, but this is one of Chan's version A cards from Social Path. I, I bought a lot of Social Path. I was missing a lot of Social Path and I bought a lot of Social Path. <laughs> I wanted it to be done before Rockstar because I have never been fully caught up with Stray Kids and, and now I'm going to be, and I'm really excited about that. So I really wanted to, to stay caught up. Also, this is the next one. So it's the last Yeonjun card. I need to complete my collection. Oh, this is so exciting. This haul itself, very fun. I'm, I'm having a great time. I hope you are too. I have to get this card out. This is a really cute top loader. Oh my gosh. See, it's like washi tape on the back and then they put like the little stickers on the front. That's so fun. Oh my gosh. Japanese sellers are so cute. Here is the last Gunjun card. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it took me so long to get these. Like they were really easy to find. They were not expensive at all. It's just been one of those things that I've like kept putting off every single comeback. And now I can finally just like focus on Yunjun moving forward, which is really, really exciting. It's really great to get to that point in your collection where you're like, I'm done back collecting. I have everything I need from previous eras. Now I just have to focus on, oh my gosh, this is fun, on like new eras and new things. Okay, <laughs> before I show you this, I love ZV1 and I love Matthew, right? So I think I'm gonna expand my ZV1 collection in a couple of ways. And we'll talk about that in an upcoming video on my second channel. Um, I'm planning a whole video on it, but I bought some of the trading card packs um, and instead of trading the trading card packs, I decided to just buy four of Matthew's cards because I found them in a set. Um, I actually bought the fifth one on Macari US and I did get that in the mail recently. So I do have all five cards, which is really exciting. So I decided to buy Matthew's FanCon card. I don't know how much I want to expand the Matthew collection yet, but I do know that I think I just want to expand Matthew special cards. Like I don't think I want special cards or like, I don't want to have everything for both Matthew and Gonok, you know, um, which is nothing against Gonok. I'm still going to collect his album cards. I just think I want, like Matthew's my bias. I think I just want some like extra pops and stuff for him. So yeah, fun. 
literally went from being like, I'm gonna watch Boys Planet before I go to KCON so I don't look stupid when ZV1 are on stage and I don't know anything about them or who they are. Um, but these are four of Matthew's cards from the FanCon trading card packs. Also, I love trading cards. I am a sucker for a good trading card. <laughs> like, and these are so freaking cute too. So we'll look at them one by one. But yeah, so I, like I said, we're gonna talk about it in an upcoming video because I'm going to be reorganizing my photo card collection a little bit. But, oh my gosh, this one with the camera. He's so cute. I just was like, I just want to expand my Matthew collection, you know? Sometimes you just gotta expand the Matthew collection. Sometimes you gotta do it. But it's really funny that I went from being like, oh, I'm just gonna look up, um, like, Watch Boys Planet casually. Like, I already know who wins. I'm not gonna get attached to any other trainees which i didn't really get attached to any non zb1 members except for a couple of members who are debuting like jay and why am i blanking on his name two other people that i was keeping my eye on and they're debuting in a new group soon so i'm definitely gonna check out that group but anyways i ended up as a piece of garbage for matthew and zb1 as a whole honestly like i pre-ordered their album for an unboxing i'm i pre-ordered their album to unbox it a mess a mess i am Anyways, here is Taewon. I finally got her phone photo card and I am so, so excited. Um, but yeah, this is such an iconic photo card and I'm so glad I was able to find it. Um, but yay for Taewon. Oh, I wanna finish, that's my next like big, big goal is to finish the Seraphim. I am three cards away from finishing Taewon and I believe in myself. It's just, there. I feel like it wasn't difficult I mean, I don't know, but once I get caught up on her, I feel like it won't be that hard to keep up with her. It's just a matter of like, especially because her albums are in Target, like it shouldn't be that difficult, but it's just getting the old cards that's difficult. Also, I live near three K-pop stores now, so like it's easy to get album. <laughs> albums are very accessible for me these days, like almost too accessible. K-pop stores in my city posted today that they got some um, pilot, Stray Kids pilot merch in. And I was like, do I drive down there and get it? And I was like, no, Carolyn, you have to film this video today. You are not going to drive to the K-pop store right now. Come on, sit down and film your video. I just got this package today, so I wanted to unbox it. But anyways, here is one of Kyle's um, version, I think this is her version C wave card so yay super excited to have that i'm only collecting call for this release because i were just doing a lot and i was like i i can only focus on one member right now oh this is fun so this is chan's social path album did i buy linos i hope i bought linos but this is chan's member version you know i just posted a lino birthday photo today too that's okay. I like the photos that I chose for that. Um, yay, but it came with Chan's drink card, which is nice. But yeah, this is his, This is the version of the album that like these cards come with. So, oh, super cute. I'm so happy to have that. And then I do collect Stray Kids like album versions too. I would like to have all versions of Social Path eventually. Um, I just don't right now. That's pretty. I saw somebody unbox like Felix's version recently in a TikTok, so that's fun. Oh, so cute, but I haven't seen Chan's or Lino's like video or in person, so cute. Wait, can we look at the photo book? Let's look at the photo book real quick. Oh, it's not a photo book. <laughs> it's just a lyric book. Also, for some reason, I thought this was like an acrylic thing, but it's not. It's literally not. That's fun though. Oh my gosh. Chan Social Path version. I think I'm going to change the cover. Do I change it to this photo or this photo? Let me know in the comment section down below what photo should be the cover. I'll let you guys comment and then, and then I'll change it out. Ooh, what is this? Is this the thing that Carolyn bought because she was distracted by the template that was literally on screen and she bought it? It is! Yeah! Alright, so we have 
couple cards here. So the first one is from version A of Social Path. So that is fun. Very, very fun. And then this is from the Five Star Dome Tour in Japan. And this is such a pretty photo card. I really, really wanted it for like the five star sets. It makes three cards, which is gonna go really well in my new setup. And then it looks, these were actually random and there were like a bunch per member. I think there's like five or six, but I will not be collecting all of them just because I, there's just too much going on. Um, but I did really wanna have at least one of Chad and Lino. So there's a Lino one in here somewhere, but so freaking cute. I definitely wouldn't say no to more if I like ever come across more in a bundle or something, but for right now, for right now, that's what we've got to do. At least until the comeback's over. Then maybe we can revisit this conversation. Oh, this is the, the Lino equivalent. I bought the same, I bought it from the same seller, so fun. Here are Lino's equivalents. I love him. Um, so also it came with Lino's Clover card, which is really exciting. And then... Um, this is Lino's equivalent. I love this blue shirt on him. He looks so freaking cute. To my knowledge, there's only, only one of these per member. Um, so that's good. I've only seen one per member, so I assume there's only one member. And then this is Lino's postcard. So super cute. They're both vertical, neither's horizontal. I think they're gonna look really, really cute next to each other in my binder. So yay, super happy to have these. Oh, fun. So this is more Ive stuff, more Wave stuff. So I bought the member, the normal member version. Yeah, this is the, the normal member version of Wave and it has Kyle's CD plate. It kind of does. So here is little photos of the members. Oh my gosh, pink haired Ray, so iconic. Oh, and there's little um, messages from them too. Cute. But yeah, I have Kyle's um, black version, the like fan club version CD plate, and I wanted her red one as well, just to have both. And then this is the photo card that comes in this version of the album. So I'm happy I was able to find them together. Oh my gosh, so freaking cute. I love this glasses card so much. It actually is the the easiest card to find because it's from like the, the normal version of the album. So I'm really happy that that was an easy card to find because it's super cute. Oh my gosh. I still have so much to go through. This is really a <laughs> very large haul. Um, oh my gosh. You'll never believe who this is. You'll never believe who this is. I'm so excited. It's been so long. Look, it's Wano. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is one of Wano's bittersweet pop sets. This is from Wonderwall. Very, very cute. I haven't had new Wano cards in so long. And I recently got a bunch from like trades and sales. Well, mostly sales. I've been buying cards from people. Um, before I was on my buying hiatus, and so I finally have more Wano to add to my collection. Oh, I miss him so much. We're over, we're under a year until he comes back, so <sighs> it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> we're in the 300s, but I haven't had Wano on my trade sale, on my starting photo card videos in like a month, so it's been very, very weird to not have him in the video all right oh this is fun i have been working on back collecting lino because i started collecting chen before lino so i'm behind basically but i started collecting chen i don't know maybe like six months before thunderous era but he was done i just hadn't finished lino but i did get lino's postcard from yellow wood so that's so fun i'm so happy to have this i'm trying to trying to complete him so that well i did complete him so that he'll be all caught up i don't have to back collect anything else for him took me a while to do it but some of his older cards are a lot more expensive than chan's were so it was took me a little longer to finish it but i am pretty much 
getting to a point where I'm like caught up with him, which is so exciting. So when I was in Korea, I went to two rounds of the lucky draw, which if you watch my channel regularly, you're probably sick of me saying that, but it was a really fun memory for me. Like I always wanted to do something like that. So it was really fun. Um, anyways, for the third round of the lucky draws for a set benefit, cause I bought two sets of albums. I got um, Lino and Hyunjin's postcards. And so I decided to pick up Chan's. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my Hyunjin one. I just kept it because like, it, I got it in Korea. So it was kind of fun. Um, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with Hyunjin's now, but I did wanna have Chan's equivalent. I'm really excited that I pulled Lino, wanted Chan's as well. Cause I think this is super, super cute. So I'm really happy to have that. It was kind of a weird hole in my collection that I was like, do I want Chan's? And I was like, yeah, I do. So picked that up was super easy. A friend sent me this, but I am trying to back collect some pobs from like thunderous to present day, right? And a friend sent me this Christmas evil pop. I think, is this Aladdin? I feel like this is his Aladdin pop, but it came with like his, his set. Remember we got like a full set of photo cards. Everybody had like 10,000 of those but I did get this Chan Christmas Evil Aladdin Pob. So Christmas Evil is like a very difficult album to collect. And I think there's a couple reasons for that. One, Thunderous Era, if you were a stay during Thunderous Era, you know that like everybody was exhausted, tired of JYP after that era. Um, so many people I know who were like so excited going in and like collecting Pobs and stuff were like, I'm not collecting anything for Christmas Evil and myself included, like I really didn't buy that many Christmas Evil like Korean pubs, especially because I don't know, I just didn't. And so I've been trying to find old Christmas Evil pubs, but they're just like expensive. But a friend sent me that listing and I had to snag him. So super excited to have that. I feel like I'm never gonna finish No Easy Christmas Evil in Ordinary though. <laughs> Like I'm always thinking about it. I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> please. When will the day come that I finish that? So this next one is very exciting. And it's also a group that we haven't even looked at yet in this video. Somebody was selling a full set of 17 Joshua's Hengare photo cards, which is like insane. Like I just, it was too good to be true. <laughs> so I just verified with my S Coops ones that I've like, pulled from my albums and traded for years and years and years ago. Um, and they're all legitimate photo cards. I'm just insanely shocked at the price that this was for. Like it was too good to be true, but I did expand my 17 collection probably right before like last era um, where I wanted to collect more Jonghan and Joshua and I just have not had any time to work on it. And then I was scrolling through Makari Japan couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago at this point. And um, I found somebody selling their whole Joshua collection. And I was like, I will buy that <laughs> from you. I like looked over the listing. I was like, this is too good to be true. But yeah, so we have all of these Joshua cards. Hengare set, which is insane. I love, this is my favorite pairing. I love these cards. This is insane that I have these. I'm literally so excited to have them. I mean, I thought I was going to finish it eventually, but I was like, there is no way I'm going to finish Hengare this year and I probably won't finish it. It was just super crazy. I was shocked. I was like, how did I get so lucky to come across this listing? Like I've been looking for these cards for so long. So anyways, we're running out of room. <laughs> I told y'all it was, it was going to be a big one. I told y'all it was gonna be a big haul. I even said that in my last sorting photo card video. I was like, there's gonna be a third part to this. <gasps> Yay, oh my gosh, this is exciting. This is also a group we haven't shown yet, technically. Technically a group we haven't shown yet, but Juhan, yay. So we have some Monstex fan con trading cards. I don't remember which one of these I need. I think I needed these two maybe including Juhan's cookie card. If you know, you know. <laughs> cookie cards are something else. And it came in a bundle with one extra card. And I was like, you know what? You know what? We're just, we're gonna take the extra card and I'll just like sell it or trade it for something else. But 
<sighs> MX friends, man. I, every day, am like, I should have gotten back in line when I was at FanCon and I should have bought more trading card packs because how did, how did everybody pull like a full set of cookie cards except me? Like I have friends who have extra cookie cards. I literally just pulled Shonu's. <laughs> I had to trade for everybody else or buy them, mostly buy them. Um, but yes, I'm so excited to have that. And then, oh, this next thing is Chan's Miro sticker. I either bought Lino's and it's in this haul somewhere or I haven't purchased Lino's yet or I already had Lino's. It was one of those larger inclusions I never got for Chan, so I figured I would go ahead and pick it up. And Miro sticker. Very excited to have that. This card, this card, can you believe? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I've been waiting all video for me to pull this card out, to be honest. <laughs> I'm so excited, oh my gosh. So this is Lino's limited edition card from Go Live. And you can tell it's a limited edition one because it's hollow on the back. This card has given me so much trouble over the past however long I've been collecting Lino's album cards for. And I, oh my gosh, I'm just so happy to have that. I found it for a super good price. I was super nervous about buying it because it was still expensive, but it was like cheap for that card, you know? I cannot wait to add that to my binder and finish that page of Go Live and In Life in my binder. I just, I'm so excited about it, literally. I just, oh. I just can't wait. It was supposed to come before my um, last sorting photo card video, like the last time I got a Macari haul in, but it didn't make it to the warehouse in time. So I was like, I have to leave you behind, but I'll be back for you. <laughs> and now he is finally here. The little time thing is covering up his face for me, but you can see him and that's all that matters. Next we have Dino's Hengare photo cards. So I'm not collecting all of Dino's Hengare photo cards, but the net version, um, it made more sense to collect four members for it. It looked better in my binder. So I decided when I found that full set of Joshua cards, I was like, listen, let me see if I can find anybody else. So I found um, Dino's set, which is really exciting. So these are both of Dino's net cards. Very nice, very nice. And then I think there should be some Jung Han cards in here, maybe. I think that that purchase went through. I hope that purchase went through. These cards are like a long time coming though. Like they literally were the ones that were about to expire at the warehouse. They've been sitting there for a long time. I thought I bought some random pobs for a second, but I believe these are both album cards, so. I have two of Matthew's album cards. I just went ahead and bought them on Macari Japan. I couldn't find any trades for him. So I just went ahead and bought them, but they're super cute. Oh my gosh. These also have been sitting at the warehouse for a very long time. So I'm so excited to have these. Finishing the Matthew collection, finishing the Lino collection, finishing, well, I won't finish the cookie cards today or in this week's sorting photo card video, but you know. This is fun too. Oh my gosh, so much fun stuff. When I was looking for older Lino things, I also looked for like older Chen things I was missing, which is not a lot, but like there's a couple things that I've been meaning to get that I was just like, you know what, let's get it. This is Chen's, his standee. Still missing Lino's for this. I also have Jisung's for this, but I'm still missing Lino's for this. So I hope I can find it soon, but I found Chen's and I've always been missing Chen's. So Super excited to have that. There's literally no room for me to put it anywhere though. Put him right there. He's like very much off screen, but maybe you can kind of see him. We have like five or six left. We're, we're almost there. This is so exciting too. So this is one of Chan's with fans cards. Oh my gosh. No easy era will be the death of me. <laughs> I joined a group order for this round of with fans, but I didn't pull Chan in my group order. So that was pretty sad, but it's okay. Um, we bought him. I will finish No Easy Era someday. Though that one Chan lucky draw I need is is gonna be the last card I buy. Oh my gosh, I love this concept though, the pink with fans concept. I think this is round two, right? Oh my gosh, so cute, he's got a burger. Is it a, a pineapple burger? It's a pineapple burger. Even if it's not a pineapple burger, it's now a pineapple burger. <laughs> but yes, we will finish no easy someday. It won't be today, but it'll be someday. All right, so the next thing we have is Leo's mini booklet from In Life era. Another thing that I had for Chan that I've never gotten for Lino, so I was able to find it. 
and I picked it up. Very exciting stuff. I'm really, really happy to have this and I'm really excited that I'm filling in all these holes in my Stray Kids collection because I don't know, it's just become one of my bigger goals in the second half of this year and probably most of 2024 too, while Monst decks are fairly inactive, um, except for Shonu and Changyun. I and Minhyuk maybe at the end of the year if he does anything. And Wano also comes back in September. Between Hyungwon's enlistment, which is like November 15th, right? Um, between Hyungwon's enlistment and September 4th, which is when Wano comes back, I'm gonna <laughs> really try and like fill in the Monster X collection holes, which there's not a lot for Monster X, but um, I'm gonna really try and like fill in all the Stray Kids holes too, because once the monsters come back, they'll be back. <laughs> they will be back. I, once again, will be very busy. Speaking of monster acts, um, because aren't we always, I got Kihyun's cookie card as well from FanCon. So the only member I was missing, Kyungwon, and I'm buying him from a Twitter mutual of mine. So I'm so, so excited to have Kihyun's cookie card. Ugh, cause, especially because he's my bias and I collected all of his like Mon Bebe only stuff. I was like, I gotta find Kihan's cookie card. Like it's high on my priority list. And I was able to find it on Makari Japan. And I'm so, so grateful because I absolutely adore the cookie cards and I really wanted to, to complete the FanCon trading card set. Ivor are releasing their new trading card set and then Shonu and Hyungwon have a trading card set. It just never ends for me. <laughs> Ooh, this is fun. So, this is random, but very fun. So Jihyo photo cards, because back in the day, um, I thought that I had this photo card and it's always been a hole in my binder. And I don't know if I like traded for it and the trade never arrived or anything, but I decided to go look for it a couple weeks ago and I found her. So this is from Signal Era. This is the last Jihyo card I needed. Um, and then it came with a couple of other cards from is a fan meeting called Once Begins. So there's that. And then there's also this card from One More Time, which I'm not really sure what that was. Maybe another concert or fan meeting or something, but these cards are really cute. So I will be keeping them and storing them in my Jihyo binder as well. My twice binder. You know who's due for a comeback? I didn't want to say it out loud, but twice. I collect OT9 for twice though. So we're not manifesting anything. We're just like, it's just an observation. <laughs> just an observation, but they'll probably make a comeback fairly soon. I think they're scheduled for a comeback before the year ends. We'll get a Q4 twice comeback, I'm sure. All right. Also speaking of twice. Okay, so let me tell you a story. And this is not a story that I have shared I don't think with anyone. I don't think I've told anyone the story. Anyways, so if you don't know, I went to see Twice in Arlington for their world tour. It was amazing. They're the best girlies. I love them so much. I had the best time at the concert, except for when I was standing outside in a thunderstorm for an hour while the staff inside watched us stand in the thunderstorm for an hour. But besides that, I'm not still bitter about it. <laughs> besides that, um, when I was out there, I was in the humidity, and I had a bunch of photo cards with me and I came back from that trip um, to see twice. I was in Texas for like 24 hours. Well, actually I think it was closer to 48. I was in Texas for like 48 hours. And um, when I came back from that, I immediately left for another week long trip. So part of, I really just like got home to like, put down my stuff from the Twice concert, repacked my bag for the beach, and then went to the beach for a week. And I came back, and I don't know where this photo card exists at this point in time, but um, I know I have a photo of it, so I'll post a photo of it. But anyways, when I got back, two of my cards I had taken out of the, the top loaders that I put them in, the not PVC top loaders, and one of the top loaders I hadn't. And so my photo card got destroyed by PVC. So I bought a new one to replace it. I have been meaning to make a video about the dangers of PVC damage and I've never experienced PVC damage myself before. Um, so I do plan, I know I have that photo card somewhere. I just like don't know where it is off the top of my head. That's fun. So that photo card was damaged and so I replaced it. So always use soft sleeves that are PVC free when you are because i didn't have a soft sleeve on this at all it wouldn't fit with the the pc holder i wanted to use 
and that was my mistake like sometimes i will literally like cut a soft sleeve in half so that there's just one layer of plastic between the photo card but anyways it was like attached to because it wasn't just the pvc it was the combination of the pvc the humidity and the moisture in the air like from the rain and the humidity so anyways very sad but i do have a new card to replace it now so that's why i bought that but don't be like me kids protect your photo cards i am usually so good about that too i have literally given my friends like soft sleeves and top loaders at events because their photo cards are just like hanging out without any protection like you can ask my friend maddie <laughs> i did that at um kcon to her a couple times i was like do you need a sleeve and a top loader because why is your photo card just like flying around at the open there but it was like my one time that i was like oh it'll be fine nothing will happen and i just sad about it anyways the last thing we have in this video is this lino levanter photo card i don't know why i don't have this photo card in my collection already but i was missing it so i went ahead and picked it up and yeah that was that's everything that's everything i say as if there isn't so much in front of me here i guess i didn't buy lino's um super bowl member version so i'll have to go ahead and pick that up but thank you so much bye for sponsoring today's video this haul is just amazing and it's gonna make my collection so much more complete and I'm so much more ready for the upcoming comebacks now, which is really exciting. A couple of them have already happened at the point of me filming this, like Seventeens and Ives have already happened, but I am definitely super prepared for all the upcoming comebacks and to focus on newer collections because I have completed a lot of holes recently and I'm really excited. So that's it for this video. If you would like to try out Baie for yourself and complete some collections in your photo card collection, go ahead and check out my link in the description box down below and get 10% off of your first order when you sign up with a new account using Baie. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye!